Hey guys, it's Ace Patrick Colais, number one Patrick because I'm single, cool because I am. I've been coming to Angeles City, Philippines on and off for over a decade. I've seen a lot of guys come here on holiday and vacation. We fall into two different categories, and I'm going to talk about this right now. Smart friend versus dumb friend. Now, I've made a lot of dumb mistakes on and off throughout the years coming here to Angel City, Philippines. So I want to clue you guys in and hopefully you fall into the smart friend. So let's go over this starting up here. The smart friend brings cash, ATM cards, extra credit cards. He has access to cash. The dumb friend, one credit card and $300 cash. Credit cards get eaten up by the ATM machine and now he's down to nothing. Smart friend, money exchanged at the airport. The airport has money exchangers right there upon landing. You want to switch over and get some Filipino pesos. The dumb friend, he's got jet lag. He forgot. He only has U.S. dollars by the time he transports and gets here to Angeles City at 2 in the morning. Not good. Smart friend, the driver, he, he already contacted his hotel and lined up a driver a week before he even arrived here. So he's got the driver waiting for him at the airport to Angeles City. The dumb friend stays in Manila and gets a bus the next day to Angeles City. So the dumb friend's wasting his time staying at 24, 48 hours by the time he gets here. The smart friend gets a nice hotel, $50, $100 hotel. It's a long flight over the ocean from your home country and you want to crash on a nice bed and be comfortable. The dumb friend gets a crap hotel for $17. Oh, it's cheap. I'm saving money. And he doesn't realize that this is a short time hotel. It's a fan room only, there's stains on the sheets. He's dumb. All right, smart friend gets a Philippine phone, SIM card, his line of communications already good to go because he's smart. The dumb friend he arrives here in the Philippines and his phone doesn't work. Oh, what do I need to do? Oh, my plan doesn't work anymore. And that's not going to work. All right. Smart friend buys Cipro Fluoraxacin and is already prepared because you're going from one country to the next. The dumb friend drinks, you know, water eats ice and there's pollution in the air. Well, he gets diarrhea for three days. He's bedridden and he almost dies. That's not too smart. That's dumb. All right, guys, real quick. If this content is helpful to you, please hit the subscribe button and we'll keep these videos going and it's going to help my YouTube channel. All right. The smart friend dates bar girls. Bar girls are valid they have their paperwork document the dumb friend is going to date freelancers and they could be lady boys <laughs> smart friend keeps his phone wallet and passport safe locked up a vault the dumb friend gets drunk and loses his phone I've seen that happen, guys. Like I said, I, I've made a lot of dumb mistakes as I'm traveling here to the Philippines, so this is a lot of lessons learned. The smart friend keeps it wrapped up. The dumb friend gets a girl pregnant. Or gets an STD. <laughs> okay, the smart friend golfs plays pool, checks out the community, goes to the malls. The dumb friend is just going to drink all day on Fields Avenue.
at a resto bar. The smart friend follows a budget. The dumb friend spends 29,000 pesos on lady drinks. Where'd all my money go? I only had $300 cash. I still forgot to go to the money exchanger. All right. The smart friend makes other friends. You can trust. They got your back. You communicate. You're finding out information from other people that live here or they've been here before. The dumb friend gets in a fight, ends up at station four. <laughs> I've seen this happen, guys. A lot of foreigners, tourists, they end up getting involved in conflict and they throw a lot down the tubes. All right, the smart friend takes trikes. The dumb friend walks home at 2 a.m., gets beat up by lady boys or just by street kids because he chose to walk down dark alleys. All right, the smart friend updates Visa 10 days early and stays on top of his validity on the passport and Visa. The dumb friend, because he's drinking all day and buying lady drinks and getting out of control, his phone doesn't even work, he overstays and then he ends up paying fines and penalties and stupid tax. And he still doesn't have any money. <laughs> The smart friend has more fun in the Philippines because the smart friend is prepared and doing all these things. The dumb friend is a dumpster fire. <laughs> so like I said, guys, I, I've done a lot of dumb things. The more you come over here, lessons learned. I want to remind you guys before you even come over here, I know you guys are coming over here for the first time or second or third time, but good information and knowledge to know. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.